Aftavaz's Togliati plant is the world's largest automobile factory and it's capable of building a million cars per year on 90 miles of assembly lines. It will build cars from Renault, Nissan and of course Lada, Russia's most popular brand. In 2008, Renault invested a billion US dollars for a 25% stake in Aftavaz. Now the Renault-Nissan alliance has taken the next step in the collaboration with a memorandum of understanding to form a joint venture with state-owned Russian technologies company. Renault-Nissan and Russian technologies will take control of Avtovaz by 2014. The alliance will invest 750 million US dollars in the joint venture, giving the automaker an indirect majority stake in Avtovaz. Russia is already the alliance's third largest market after China and the United States. In Russia, one out of three cars are from Renault, Nissan and Lada. This is the next logical step for what we have done already in uh, Russia. Um, first, considering Russia as one of the strategic and priority market for Renault and for Nissan. And second, allying and partnering with uh, the most important car manufacturer in Russia, the most important in terms of volume, and market share, which is Aftovaz. Partnering with them, not only in order to support them and giving them the technology and giving them platform, but also using the enormous resources that they have on the Russian market for their own benefit, but also for the benefit of Renault and the benefit of Nissan. On April the 4th, Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin inaugurated a 525 million US dollar assembly complex in Togliati. Together with Renault Chief Operating Officer Carlos Tavares and Nissan Chief Operating Officer Toshiyuki Shiga. The new complex will add capacity of up to 350,000 cars per year, Renault and Nissan models as well as Lada's. Together with Avtovaz, the Alliance is launching a product offensive that will update all core Lada models and introduce seven new cars from across the three brands. Five of these new models will come from the new facility in Togliati. In addition, the Alliance operates plants in Moscow, St. Petersburg and Izhevsk. All the plants benefit from Renault and Nissan's cutting-edge technology and manufacturing expertise, and they are highly efficient because they have a high degree of local parts content, which is key to profitability. When you take Europe in its large definition, including Russia, Russia is the promising market in Europe. Uh, without any doubt for me, it's going to be the largest market in Europe. It's a question of time. Russia is very promising because uh, Russia is a rich country. Um, uh, you have a, an emerging middle class, which is very strong. Um, uh, some statistics showing that more than 10 million people in Russia have an annual income uh, equal or superior to $50,000, and this translates into a growing uh, car market. In contrast to the stagnant market in Western Europe, Russia is quickly becoming one of the world's economic engines of growth. Russia will overtake Germany as Europe's biggest auto market in 2015, with approximately 3.4 million new cars sold. It's a market no automaker can ignore, and now it's another emerging market dominated by the Renault-Nissan alliance.